Hi, I'm Anne-Marie Harrison from Active Volunteers and I'm here today to talk to students about their volunteering experiences whilst at university. What is your name and what are you studying? Hi, I'm Carl Clinton. I'm a final year te teaching English to speakers of other languages and linguistics student. Hello, I'm Christina. I'm in my final year and I'm studying Religious Studies Specialist course. Hannah Fern, I'm in my final year of study and I'm studying Criminology and Criminal Justice. I'm Sarah Ellis, um, I'm in final year and I'm doing social care and social policy. Why did you volunteer? I decided to volunteer so that I could give something back to the community and also I wanted to enhance my CV. I started my volunteering journey with re-entry in my first year where I took on the role of a teacher, teaching students between the ages of 9 and 16 who had behavioural and special educational needs problems. Within that time I taught a range of subjects including English and Maths. I also set up a Year 6 programme and an ESOL programme for the students of Wolverhampton. I then moved on in my second year to work with autism charities and I set up an autism centre. I then forged links with Brighton Cup, which is the Enterprise Society within Brighton University during my second year. During the summer, I recently took part in a Thailand placement where I volunteered in Thailand teaching at a local secondary school. I am volunteering in addition to my degree. It's for a project called Wolverhampton Improving Futures. Um, it is an early intervention for five to ten year olds to help them from all different backgrounds and in all sections of Wolverhampton and it is a three year project. My volunteering journey was quite hard. I did the volunteering in the community module and the volunteering in action module. The volunteering in the community module I volunteered with Bernardo's charity. It was a fantastic experience but it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to work in a prison environment with young offenders because it links to my study and it's something I've always had a passion for. But because there was no opportunities for me to get into that, I went directly to the prison. And that's the project I set up in the end, recruiting other volunteers to help the young people. In first year, I took um, the volunteering in the community, um, which, then made, which then I went to Behaven um, in Wolverhampton. Um, that that then led me on to do the second year of the actual degree, which was the volunteering in the action. And I wanted to work there because I um, it could transfer the skills over from my degree over to my actual work placement. So I could actually see it actually being in action. So I could see that, like, the actual positive effects I'm actually having on the women um, through the actual theory side I'm actually learning through my course. And what for the future? Because of my experience in volunteering, I am currently engaged with a new project that encourages international students to volunteer and also take up work placements and work shadowing placements. This can be carried on for when I leave university for other students. In addition, I've been accepted on my master's course, but other opportunities have also opened up and I've been accepted on job placements in Spain and Thailand. At the moment I'm trying to get on to a PGCE, so doing this project at the moment is helping me towards that because as I'm mentoring a little girl who's primary age and that is what I want to do in the future so it's helped me grow in confidence so I know I'll be able to work with that age. I'd like to carry on there for as long as I can, um, but when it comes to the time that I leave then I'd pass it on to someone once training them that can handle the project themselves. I'd like to go on to work in that sort of environment, but if that's not possible, then I'd like to work with offenders or ex-offenders. I've been promoted up until a sessional worker at Behaven, so that means I have more responsibilities and I'm actually a part-time member of staff. So the volunteers actually made me progress to that level, um, so now I want to go full-time and um, actually progress even further and become a full-time member of staff there. Any advice for future volunteers? Just do it. It's an excellent way of enriching your degree. It provides opportunities that otherwise wouldn't be available to you. It also enables you to reflect better in your academic writing. Be prepared to commit, because if you're not going to commit, it's not worth your time and effort you're going to have to put in with them, because it's all worthwhile, and if you don't have that in you, don't do it. Go for it. Do it, find something that you're passionate about and do it, but don't let obstacles stand in your way. If you get setbacks, then just work through it, persevere and carry on. 
have a look at the career options, always have a look at the volunteering options and try and make it relevant to your course. Always try and get it so you might not get it like at first instant, but always try and make it so you can transfer the skills over from your course over to the work placement because then you'll find it easier not only to learn, but you get to be able to, you know, enjoy your experience as well as a volunteer.